Hey folks, it's Andrew from Gemba Red, and today we're going to take a look at our latest model, the Gemba Red Improve panel. And it's called Improve because it makes a couple small improvements to our original design for like our Gemba Red Groove and our Gemba Red Rex, uh, but it's got a couple nice new features. Namely that the size and the power overall are similar to our previous models, uh, but it's got five wavelengths. It's got an on-off switch right here. And it comes with a little stand that helps you prop it up for facial treatments and whatnot. But one of the things that have always made uh, these panels so special and beneficial is that they're kind of like a hybrid between like a LED pad and a panel is that they're a little bit lower power, but they've got a lot, a lot of LEDs, 225 LEDs spread over this one foot by one foot square. But it's also very lightweight, it's got a decent amount of power, and then you can lay it on directly on the skin, and that's going to help optimize the penetration, optimize the absorption, because a lot of the light is going to be reflecting off your skin if you're at a distance away from the panel. So that's why we've always had these nice panels, kind of a hybrid between using a flexible pad, which, you know, those are nice because they conform to your body, but this can cover a big chunk of your torso, your chest, your back, uh, you know, lay it across your legs or your thighs. And it's a great way to get that skin contact. It's super lightweight. It's a little bit less than three pounds. And so that's what's made our panels overall over the years so simple and beneficial. And again, you know, I just try to focus on a simple one switch or one plug kind of operation, not a ton of features, but it just gets you the right wavelengths, the right intensity, and, you know, and gets you the right benefit. So anyway, to give you that social proof, to give you this little review, uh, we're going to go through and take a bunch of measurements like we do. Um, but just know, you know, we already had a lot of these measurements taken by our third party lab for intensity, for the wavelengths, for the flicker. And so those are going to be the gold standard of measurements. And what we can do here with some handheld tools is just to kind of give you that social proof and give you a little bit more confirmation that you can see me take the measurement. Okay, so let's start with some of the good stuff. Let's check the intensity and the wavelength and we're going to do um, just a quick measurement at about six inches away. Which we get about um, almost six milliwatts per centimeter squared. You see it kind of adjusts the units in, into microwatts, but uh, you convert it to milliwatts, it's you know, 5.8 milliwatts. So, so I always say to start at six inches away. If you want to use it for skincare, you use the little stand, you stay about six inches away. And, you know, that's a good amount of dose to get, you know, cover. It covers most of your face because it's nice kind of one foot wide footprint. And again, you know, we can check even on our little dosing calculator. Um, if you do six milliwatts per centimeter squared, if you want six joules per centimeter squared as your dose, that's about 16.7 minutes. So that's a good dose. Okay, let's try to measure up close to each of the LEDs at, you know, essentially zero distance. And that'll help us verify the intensity and the wavelength kind of for over each LED. So we here see here we've got the 630, you know, it registers about 628.8. So that's about 630. And then it's about 10 milliwatts per centimeter squared, a nice intensity. It's not going to be too hot, especially when you use it on the skin. Um, so that's a very nice intensity. Verified the 630 wavelength. Here's the 660 wavelength that's coming up at about 13 milliwatts per centimeter squared. And it looks like it's right on the money, 659.9. So that's about 660, so it's right on the money. And here's the 830 wavelength. Again, it's right around 830, 831. And we get about uh, almost eight uh, milliwatts per centimeter squared. Here's the 850 wavelength. Again, it's coming up a little bit different, uh, 848. Uh, but the intensity again is around eight milliwatts per centimeter squared. And then here's the 810 wavelength. Uh, again, it's registering a little bit low at uh, 808. Uh, you know, that's pretty good. That's a popular laser wavelength too. And then uh, the milliwatts again is 
about 8.4 milliwatts per centimeter squared. So again, you know, it's all in that range around 8 to 10. You know, I think maybe it was up to 13 on the 660. But again, we can always reference our third-party data for the most accurate. But at least we verified all five wavelengths are in here with our spectrometer. And, uh, you know, we get the right intensity in that range. And again, when you use it right on the skin, it's got these nice reflectors that a lot of LED pads are made with like a black background or a black neoprene. So they're going to absorb what bounces off your skin. So this is really highly reflective. So whatever, you know, as close as you get, you can see my reflection of the light back from the skin. So everything's getting recycled. So you're getting all that intensity, all that power. Um, so it's a great way to dose. So I say usually to dose it around 20 minutes per treatment area. And that's a good dose for, for kind of daily use. And you can do a couple different areas per day. And again, we can check the flicker. It's run on a very high quality DC adapter. So the flicker's usually not even going to be an issue. We see it's less than 1% flicker here. Um, so again, that's a great, great number. No, no issues with flicker. And of course, for skin contact devices, we want to make sure the EMFs are as low as possible. Um, that's why a lot of companies tell you to be four inches or six inches away, at least from their panels, because they know they're high EMF. They've got internal fans and internal drivers. And that's why, you know, we've been trying to reduce the EMFs by removing those things and still make adequate power levels. And you see, see, you know, even right up on the panel, it's about less than half of a milligauss. Then the electric field is also important. So we can see that drops down to 7 volts per meter. Again, that's super low compared to um, maybe if you saw our previous video, some of the LED pads that were not properly grounded, they're over 1,000. So you can kind of get that kind of context of like, you know, it's much lower and it's very low EMF because we use a grounded adapter. But that's it. That's our Gemba Red Improve. It's, you know, not focused on a lot of gimmicky features. It focused on getting the right wavelengths, getting the right intensity, the right dose, um, using skin contact and getting the right distance. And, uh, you know, being as low EMF and po as possible, keeping it safe, keeping it um, very, you know, very good and usable for the consumer. And that should be the goal for red light therapy in general, just to make things simple and accessible and, uh, you know, as beneficial as possible without lots of extra frills. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Let us know if you have questions.